let's solve a couple of questions on analyzing graphs of a spring mass system so for the first one we have two blocks connected to identical ideal springs are oscillating on a horizontal frictionless surface the motion of the blocks a and b over time are shown in the graph below and we can see this graph displacement versus time graph of the two blocks a and b why are the periods different for blocks a and b as always pause the video and give this one a try first all right hopefully you have given this a shot now we see two plots on on one graph we see displacement time and there is block a block b the question is to compare the periods of a and b and let's look at the options so option a says block a has a longer period because it has more mass block b has a longer period because it has more mass block a has a longer period because it has a larger amplitude and we can say we can see that block a the amplitude of the oscillation of block a is 3 centimeters whereas for block b it's only one and the last option is block b has a shorter period because its smaller amplitude means the spring constant is bigger now let's try and recall how did we how did we define time period for a spring mass system time period was 2 pi into under root of m divided by k nowhere in this equation we see amplitude so amplitude really has no effect on the period of any simple harmonic oscillator and time period is the time between two consecutive maximas or minimas so for block a we can see that time this is this is four seconds and for block b for block b this will be between two consecutive maximas or minimas so let's look at minimas for block b this is two seconds now time period for block a is more we can see that it's more compared to block b and if time period is more and these two blocks are connected to ideal springs that is written over here these two blocks are connected to ideal identical springs which means which means same same springs identical springs means the same spring same spring so that means a spring constant k is the same for both this is not changing so if tb if tb is less tb is less than ta and k is the same that means mass of b has to be less than mass of a so block b's mass is less than block a's mass only then the time period of a can be more than the time period of b so out of the options we can say that this is option a okay let's look at one more question here again we have two identical blocks which are connected to ideal springs they are oscillating on a frictionless surface and we can see the displacement time uh, how how they are oscillating again the question is why are the periods different for blocks a and b now again let's go back to how we define time period for a spring mass system that was 2 pi into m divided by k k is the spring constant m is the mass of the oscillator and t time period is the time between two consecutive maximas and minimas first let's see whose time period is more so for block A, this is the time between two consecutive maximas and that is six seconds. That is six seconds. And for block B, between two consecutive maximas, we can see this much is a this, this much is the time. This is this is four seconds. So block A's time period is more, T A is more than T B. And now we have two identical blocks, which means the mass of these two blocks is the same. So M is the same, but they are connected to different springs because it's not written that they are connected to identical springs. It's just that they are connected to ideal springs, not identical. So spring constant is different. Now, if T A is more than T B and mass is the same for both spring constant for B has to be more than spring constant of A because the spring constant increases, spring constant increases, then time period will decrease and time period for B is less. So spring constant for B, so spring constant for the spring connected to block B has to be more than the spring constant for the spring connected to block A. So out of these four options, let's look at option A. Block B has a shorter period, which is true because it has a smaller amplitude. Not really because amplitude has no relation with, it has no relation with time period at all. We don't see amplitude coming into the equation. So A is wrong. Block B has a shorter period, which is true because it has a larger spring constant and that is also true option b looks right block c so option c talks about amplitude again it's wrong block a has a longer period true 
because it has a larger spring constant. No, that is wrong. It has a smaller spring constant. Block B is connected to a spring which has a larger spring constant. That's why the time period for block B is less. So this one is option B. All right, you can try more questions from this exercise in the lesson. And if you're watching on YouTube, do check out the exercise link, which is added in the description.